Hi, I'm Brack. Hi, it's I, Brack the War Boss, doing a bit of late night, midnight recording, and we're going to be looking at the Gear Guts releases for March. Or is it March? March, March. Anyway, we're going to be having a look at all the wonderful new designs which Gear Guts has done for the last month. And it's going to be coming up pretty, pretty soon. It's Friday night and I'm drinking champagne. <sighs> Welcome to Australia. Mega Walker D. This is a beautiful looking thing. He's big. He's going to be a big boy. Oh, wow. I really like the shoulder pads. All those dags and spikes are fantastic. Now, you're going to see a lot of this skull design here on the face. It's, it's across a lot. So there's there. And it's sort of repeated a little bit down here as well on the knee joints. And yeah, it's a, I, I, I really like it. It's something that really appeals to me. I do like these two big weapons. I'm not quite sure what the type they are, but they're, they're still pretty regardless. And you've got some little guns right here. Now, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful model. Oh, look. Goblins in mega armour. What will Gear Guts think of next? And this is a great thing. Look, I'm a bit of a fan of, uh, of mega armour. Mega armoured knobs. I've, 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 I'm on that train. I, I, I like them. Yeah, I, and it's a good thing. Now, I'm in a league at the moment. And there's eight of us playing, all orcs. And two lists do not have mega armoured knobs. So, quite popular. And so it's really good. That there's a lot of variations. And so, if you happen to be doing a Gretchen-themed or a Goblin-themed army well then you don't have to miss out on going with the mega knobs as well and just look at the faces on these goblins aren't they beautiful looking thing these claws are great yeah uh, yeah beautiful beautiful stuff Ooh, guns assault guns different styles i'd say they would represent the various clans. Now you've got two up here, a very shooty, maybe a bit on the flashier side. So they would be good for for blue orcs or maybe yellow orcs. Uh, this one here has a bit of a bone attached to it, and and something to shoot. So maybe these people think the old ways are best, or maybe these guys do too, because it's a nice simple design. And so here we've got a couple of things there for, um, yeah, with a lot of cutting implements as well. So, yeah, maybe you want to sneak up and cut slit someone's throat with one of these, or maybe you just want you just a good bashing goff. So you you just need a little bit of extra blade to sort of sink that crump in a bit more. And yeah, great looking stuff. Good for the bit box, and these are relatively cheap. Now there are similar things from previous from the previous month, and OTP have them at about eight dollars, if I believe. So that roughly translates around about I don't know five American dollars, or say four. Four-ish pounds. 
I'm, I'm not quite sure. I only really look at the prices on the Australian site because I'm Australian. Oh, I do like this. He's nice. Cyborg Bruiser Boss C. Now, I have Bruiser Boss B. And there's some similar design elements. And there's some variation. So the claws are variation. And the face is a slight variation. So we have the stitching on here, which is very similar to the face of the Gear Guts Mark II model. The cyborg eye sticks out a lot more than on here. That's a it's a little it's a little flatter eye piece. And this one it's probably a little scope. And we've got some gubbins up here. And there's some tubing at the back. Lots of tubing from this claw. I'm not quite sure what this that is. I can't really see too well from the angle. I don't think it's for shooting. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And I do love the skull. You're seeing that a lot. Yeah, this is this would be a great, a great boss. If you need a boss, why not grab this one? Oh, or if pirates are more your theme. If you're a free booting kind of guy, then maybe. This is what you have been looking for. Now, I am really attracted to the Jolly Roger-esque crossblade and skulls there. So it's a bit like a skull and crossbones, but it's a skull and cross daggers. And there's some more skulls, because let's face it, you can never have enough skulls. And there's a skull motif on the knee joint again. And he's been replicated up here on this wonderful looking daggy hat. And I do like the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads here with this, the, the raised check is, it makes checker painting work so much easier. Case in point, see? So much better that way. There's one thing I'm not too fussed on. And that's the strange pose of the arm. He's looking a bit camp. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It just, just looks a little bit odd. But having said that, loving the peg leg. Isn't it beautiful? I'm... Mm, look, space marines aren't my things, and orc space marines aren't my things. If I want to see space marines with my orcs, they need to got, they got to, there's got to be limbs taken apart. Sorry? I'm just old-fashioned that way. Now, having said that, there is a nice design element, which I can appreciate, but I, I wouldn't be buying these. Now, look, the, you can get some great freehand work on these shoulders, and, yeah, look, there's really nothing wrong with them. They're, they're, they're a good, solid-looking unit. Okay. Some more guns for the bit box or for your collection. Now, and these, they all look the same, but sim, but different. And they're great. They're, they're looking good. They've got different sort of contraptions and some cords and wires, depending on how it works. There's buttons and diodes and yeah, look, these are these are fantastic looking things uh, to really suit the flavour of, of whatever. Um, you have said these energy type weapons, so they could be custom mega blasters. They could these could look they could go for any sort of custom mega slugger. So sorry, these could go for for some sort of custom shooter. Now, really, it the 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 possibilities are endless. Fan Bits A. Now we're seeing a few of these, especially last month. There were there were gubbins that you could attach to various vehicles. Now a few of the vehicles from last month, the Heek vehicles, had flat surfaces. Ideal for for these type of things, for for fan bits. 
um, so you can just give just you know, a bit of added flavour. And I do like they're all the same but different as well. So we've got some daggy ones here. We've got some. I've got a high tech one here. This looks a, suspiciously like a ship's portal. So that might be good to go on some of the more boaty type tanks. And and here we have just another simple one with that same skull motif. Oh oh yeah. Okay. I'm I'm. Definitely writing Mechanized Gun C on my list of things I need to buy from Gear Guts because this is a beauty. Oh, look at that. And whoa. And I do love his little crew. So you've got an energy. This has got an energy pack there. He'd probably go into there. And, and then this guy looks like his. Is uh, pressing some buttons on a control panel. Is that a control panel, or is that part of the, or is that part of the, uh, the actual gun itself? And this guy, he's obviously in charge of bashing things and tightening things. But has he done a good job? Because this guy, he thinks that something bad's going to happen. You can tell that he's waiting for it. Maybe he knows and he's not telling anyone. He's that sort of mischievous sort of person. Um. That's why I like about these things. Um, Geargust does this so well. You can use it out on the table for functioning weapon, or you can make a little diorama around it, make a little story, and that would be good too. Or you could do both. Ah, uh, let's follow up some more goblin goblin tanks. Now these this, this sort of gets me right here in the feels. I do love a good goblin tank, and I'm writing this one down on my list too, because I definitely need these. Now, it looks like, I'm not 100% certain, but it looks like these turrets come apart. I do know that the guns definitely do, and I think that the tracks may come apart too, so you can mix and match these a lot. So you've got what? seven, eight different, maybe nine different types of of looking vehicles that you could you could make. Now I do not know if you're going to get more than one type of gun. That's all it's just showing. So I, I don't know. Maybe you could email your local ish store and and ask them. Can't hurt. Never hurts to ask. But look, we do have some rockets, and that is a Grotzuka. Not good at the moment, but there is a new codex coming soonish, so they might get better. Yeah, one can only hope. And this energy weapon looks fantastic. He's um, good for a custom mega blaster, and then we've got a big shooter. What we don't seem to see is a is a flamer. Or a scorcher. Yeah. Maybe if you want to you want them, email the store and ask. You, it never hurts to ask. Oh now I'm only I'm sort of unsure about this, mainly because I don't know if this rocket is playable in today's game. I haven't looked at the Forge World book, so I don't know if that vehicle is still there. If you know, can you please tell me in the comments below so that others can know too? And that that'd be that'd be nice um, because I unfortunately I don't know and I don't know if if it's playable. Although if it's not playable, it's probably in Legends, so that's that's fine. Probably not for match play, I, but I don't know. But I what I do know is that I do like this, the the front part, the buggy part. So you could get rid of that that big bombish thing, chuck it in your bit box, and add other bits to it to replicate any of the buggy variants of your dreams. Yeah, I'm, 
I like this. I just don't know if it's playable. And here we've got some more guns. Heavy Assault Guns A. And I do look. So we've seen the same design element So in, in the smaller versions. So this is just, just elongated with um, similar weapons. So different guns for the different flavours. Really good stuff. Oh, I do like this. And this can be as a mega scrap jet, which is one of the buggy variants, which we're seeing on a lot of tables being played around. It's a pretty strong unit, especially when you got three of them. There's a stratagem that makes them attack twice, I believe, and it's pretty powerful if 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 you run buggies. So this would be a a cheaper version. I similar sort of jet buggies go around Australia about the around the forty to fifty dollar Australian mark, and you might think that's a lot. However, um, for the official version at the official store, you're paying seventy seven to eighty Australian dollars. So it's 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 cheaper. It's 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 a lot cheaper. So you could buy this in a couple of and and, and, and and lots and lots of guns. But let's have I, this looks really interesting in the front. It reminds me of the space shuttle of the eighties and nineties. And I do like the drill. Uh these these um tracks look great. Uh, look the look of his, his his grin there. I do like that lip. I I'm, I'm really attracted to the lip because it, it helps me make um paint lips a lot better these days and he's got a little he's got a little cut there too so that's a that's a nice interesting detail gives a bit of character uh he's got goggles but he's not wearing them and there's a rocket here and a rocket there and a rocket on the on the tail and he looks like he's ready to do some action there yeah beautiful model so i think i'm going to put this on my list too as well Looted armored bruises a a little bit box. Oh, oh! I didn't notice the head. Oh yeah, okay. They're um. They're looking a bit fishy, aren't they? For the want of a better term. So, yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm seeing, I'm getting feelings of Tau in here. So I suppose if you want to do a Tau slash Orc type army, and stranger things have happened, then, then this could be for you. And it's, it's a mega knob or look, I can't comment on what it might play if you want to do Tau because I do not know that range. But I'm sure there's something that it would fit. They look, yeah. Look, I'm I'm changing my mind about this. I was a bit unsure at first. I thought it was a little bit too boxy, but now I I, I see the reason for the boxiness. And um, yeah, this is a this is great. And some more weapons for the bit box. With the same sort of feel, but these times they're for chopping and not for shooting. Although I'm a bit unsure about this thing. It just, it almost looks impractical. But I suppose if you're an orc, you use eight or nine feet with big bulging muscles, it really doesn't matter what that piece of steel looks like. It's going to slice its enemy regardless, isn't it? <laughs> Look at this. I just want to pop him on the head. Pop, pop. That'd be funny. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to fold up. Yes, it just looks a bit like that, that those Star Wars little um, mechanical droids, don't it, doesn't it? But I don't think he does fold up. But yeah, Odd Bruiser E. So this is the fifth in the Odd Bruiser says I've, I've got one, but he's floating away. Ah. I, I do like that. The skulls are great. This this chain, why he's got 
what looks like a can, an oil can, petrol can with an exhaust pipe. I don't know. Maybe these are one of the mysteries that we'll never, ever know. But I do like that staff. That's a wonderful staff. And these days, you just can't get good staff these days. Oh, these are great. Pirate Assault Gunners A. Oh, almost went a bit bogan there. These are the Pirate Assault Gunners, eh? Yeah, no, no, sorry, bad joke. Um, which is what I am known for. And, look, I do like these. If we have a little look, we can see an eye patch over here. And a close look, there's an eye patch over. So on the left, this running one has an eye patch. And on the right, the one that's sort of standing firm, he's got an eye patch on the opposite eye. Uh, the one in the middle has a peg leg. He also seems to be smoking a pipe there. The one at the back's just having a good old laugh, so I don't know. Maybe this one told a joke. Maybe this one farted. We'll probably never, never know. But a beautiful looking unit. Fantastic stuff. Ooh. Now, I have seen this before. And there's been some comments and people have been asking Gear Guts, why don't you put a Gretchen or a Grot on top near that wheel? And the reason, he tells me, is because every time he does that, people seem to think that they're advertising for cans, but no, it's not. This is a claw walker, so about the same size as a Dread, uh, Def Dread, a little bit taller, so not a can. And... Uh, Look, it's a claw walker, but I can't see many claws. So two great big we energy type weapons with some diodes and thingy bobbies. And here we have the 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 jolly knife Roger. That's not a term. But yeah, look, I like that. And we're seeing these these skull motif with a bit of a twist. This one's got a little patch. And this one looks like he's wearing a bandana or a hat. And I do like the wheel up the top. You, look, there are a thousand and three places you can get goblins, but you can get quite. Gear Guts has a very large goblin range, and they're reasonably cheap. They're about twenty to thirty Australian dollars, depending on where you, you get them. So for about five or six, maybe even more. So the price varies depending on, on, on how many they are and what they do. And you've got ones with guns, you've got ones with paint, you've got grot riggers, you've got all sorts. So if you really want a goblin on there, go and have a look at Gear Guts' back range. I'm sure you can find the one that can suit you. Yeah. Pirate Bruises Scrap Gunners. Hey, I really, really like these. Oh, this is fantastic. Now, I reckon that these be good for looting. Ah, nice big gun. And so we're seeing the same sort of pirate guys, similar sort of poses. And we've got an eye patch here and an eye patch there and a little pipe. And so we've got the peg leg guy. We've got running, he looks like he's running a bit. This looks like he's going somewhere. He's, he's checking his weapon. Oh, yeah. Good looking stuff. Now, similar sort of poses with the Pirate Bruiser Shock Troops A, but different weapons. So we've got sluggers and choppers here. And these choppers look very similar to what we saw in the in in, in the bits for the, in the the knife the, the actual separate knife bits so so there's a good design element going through there it's fantastic and nice a uh, little bit of consistency amongst the the range and that hook is there so this guy's obviously lost his uh, arm and this guy's lost his leg but he's still quite happy and this one's having a bit of a smoke. Maybe he's going to get his lungs replaced. And so there's a patch here. And a patch 
few patch there, a patch over a patch, patch. I can't really see. Maybe there's only one patch. I don't know. I'm getting old. The eyes are failing. But yeah, and look, this beautiful stuff. Oh, oh, look at this. These are great. Pirate Tank Hunters A. Now, I'm sure they could bust many a tank with these little mini cannons and their cannonballs. Fantastic stuff. Okay, we've got a couple who've probably had mishaps in the past because they've got hooks. I'm not quite sure how they're going to get the balls into the cannon with a hook like that. Who knows? Maybe it's magnetised. Or maybe they have a little goblin to help them. And so the the back, my back right, is probably your back left, is, um, he's got, it's there, he's aiming it to go a little bit further. This guy's on his shoulder, he's got his cannonball ready to put in here, and he's going underneath, so this, they're looking, they're looking really good. So, and we're seeing one patch, two patches. Now we seeing any, oh, there he is. This guy at the front, he's got a pipe too. I'm, I'm just loving, I'm just loving that design element. Uh, creeping in through the various units, it's um, it's good. And here we have some more guns, separate little guns for the bit box, and they're following the same sort of design aesthetic across the various flavors of orcs that you may have, depending on what type you've got. It's um, yeah, look, this is this is this is a good design. Well, each and every, I just, the design ele element that really gets me here is that there's, it's designing at a macro. So there's something that's going to please everyone. And you can, if you think carefully, have a more uniform looking uh, army with guns that look similar. So you can have, you know, a slugger which looks similar to a shooter which looks similar to the bigger shooters and and also looks similar to a knife it's uh yeah that's that there's some really good design elements there oh see now this is what i'm talking about this is the only time you really need to have space marines is when they're lying on the floor with their arms ripped off this is this is what i need Although I do not need another boss. I do and I don't. I'm conflicted. Now, this is great. Oh, wow. Now, he could be a Blood Axe boss. Go well, a Blood Axe army. Go well in any army, really. But if you've got a Blood Axe, you might want to look at this. He could work well as a certain HQ character choice uh, that's associated with commandos. I think he might do a good count as there, and uh, so he's got a, he's got some knives. He's got two on the shoulder up here, and there's one here, and there's another one back there. He's got a gun just when he's needs to do some shooting. These skulls in behind here, I do love the stance. So he's got that that foot. He's sort of he's sort of leaning in with his foot and just getting that little bit of extra action to. Get those arms off. This is this is beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I do like the the, the goggles, so it's a help seeing in the night. But he doesn't need to see. He can feel his way through this problem. And here we have some more sneaky bruises. D commandos. Now commandos are very versatile at the moment in nine. They're, they're really good at grabbing objectives, coming in a little bit later. I think they work better as a Death Skulls, which is really good because I'm Death Skulls. So, and I'm, I'm using it at the moment in my little league game and getting some good results out of them. But I am coming to the conclusion I need more. And I got a funny feeling that the next commandos I get will 
look suspiciously like these. Look at that weapon. It's an odd-looking thing. Uh, he's got a little bit of protection for his hands. And the backpacks are nice. And no one's smoking a pipe this time. Oh, well, I suppose they're being a bit sneaky, aren't they? Ooh, this is nice. Very nice. He's, I've, he's obviously counts as one of these things. And oh God, don't get me wrong. This is really nice. That's nice too. They're nice for different reasons. And there's no reason why you can't have one of each. And that's what I'll be telling the wife. Um, anyway, uh, look, I do like this choppish effect here. Although, the, and so we're seeing that's the, the half the skeleton chained down, which we have seen before. More skulls. This grappling hook thing does sort of confuse me a bit. I'm a bit unsure how it might work because that looks like his arm. Does that mean it fires out of here, hits something, chops its head off, then comes back and he has to insert that back into his arm? I'm sure that might hurt a bit. Yeah, look. Beautiful. A beautiful looking trike. And that's it. There we are. We're back at the beginning. Well, there you have it. That was all of Gear Guts releases for March. Now, so where can you find this stuff? All right. Three, three stores across this great globe. If you want the physical models, you've got North America, Gear Guts Mech Shop. In the UK, you, so the service Europe as well is um, fully cycled, and Australia, which is looking at the Australasian Southeast Asian area, and New Zealand, of course, um, is OTP terrain. I'll have links to all those stores below in the description if you want files, so you can get the STL files if you're on Gigas Patreon. I also believe the the North American site has STL files downloaded, and I think they're up ready now. I'm not up. I'm about ninety eight percent certain about that. Now, as for the physical models, if you want to actually get yourself a hand on something like like this, but what you've seen, of course, then. I don't know if there are any up in the stores yet, but go to those stores, have a look. If they're not there, flick them an email and say something like, I saw this on Brack's video. I really like it. I really want it. When can it, when is it available? Or, you know, so that's a very long version of just shut up and take me money, isn't it? So do that. By all means, um, tell them I sent you. I don't get anything for that. However, um, it's good. They'll want to know for their marketing purposes to know how their people are finding out about their products. All the stores will do that. It's what all good marketers do. So, so yeah. If I have encouraged, if anything you see like, go there, have a look, tell them I sent you. Be fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed that show. If you really liked that, then please like, subscribe, share, get those algorithms going. And please, if uh, make some comments. Was there anything you liked? Was there anything you disliked? Are you going to buy something? Comment below. Let's have a conversation. That would be wonderful. That helps me. It helps the channel. Uh, what also helps the channel is a little bit of financial help like these guys who you're seeing names appear on the screen right now they have helped me over the last month or so either through patreon or buy me a coffee you could do the same if you wish it all helps it all goes back into the channel i've bought things like i've had stands paint paint brushes 
currently saving to the new codex so that I can actually get the new news when the codex drops and I can do videos about that. That would be wonderful. So any help that, that you can have, any financial help, just throw your shrapnel my way. It'd be muchly appreciated. All right, well, I'm about to toddle off. So I am going to leave you with one little bit of information that you all need to know. And that is, if you go and crumpet, you got to bash early and bash often. Where can you get them? I see you, Sam. You want some? I know you do. I know you really do. Well, there's three stores across this great globe of ours. There is, in the North America, there is Gear Guts Mech Shop. And we'll ignore that. We will ignore that. Uh, so it's Gear Guts North America. 